All right, got glass, check, notebook, check, water, check, whiskey, whiskey. That was my whiskey. Okay, so you're just getting into tasting whiskey or you're looking to buy a present for that whiskey lover in your life. But either way, there's so much stuff out there that's telling you what you need to have to properly taste whiskey. Welcome to Lacorious George. My name is George, and today I am going to be guiding all of you through my curiosity with all of the items that we would put together to create a whiskey tasting starter pack. So I've said it in previous videos, but I'm a relative newcomer to the world of tasting whiskey. So everything we're going to go over today is really based on my countless hours of research that I've done on my own to put together some items that I would deem as a beginner whiskey tasting starter pack. I know, rolls off the tongue, but let's just go with it for now. All right, so a little caveat to get us started here is that as far as I'm concerned, the best way to drink your whiskey is whatever way you enjoy drinking your whiskey. All right, you can take the bottle, swig it straight out, shoot it down, doesn't matter, right? If you enjoy drinking it that way, keep drinking it that way. So this starter pack is aimed at those who really want to kind of take their whiskey in a different direction, slow it down a bit, taste it, experience it, right? Not necessarily put it in a shot glass and shoot it back. So that being said, okay, first thing on our list of our whiskey starter pack, tasting glass. This particular glass right here is called a Glencairn glass. Now, any glass that you have that kind of has this taper at the top or the tulip shape as a lot of people will refer to it, will do perfectly fine. Now, obviously, if you don't have any sort of glass that tapers at the top or a Glencairn specifically, you're going to be able to taste your whiskey just fine. But the idea behind it here is that you want a glass that tapers towards the top because when you're smelling the whiskey is it focuses those aromas from the whiskey as they come up directly right there at your nose. So that way you're going to be able to get the full aroma and really be able to tell some of those notes that are coming out of it. Oh, and if you're curious about this Glencairn glass and some of the other more common glasses people drink whiskey from, Check out my other video where I go into some of the details on this glass specifically, as well as some of the more common glasses that people drink whiskey from. Okay, so the next thing we need in our starter pack is obviously our whiskey. So I don't want to go into too much detail here about different whiskeys and which one you should be drinking, but I will say this, you do not need to break the bank to drink a whiskey that tastes good, all right? I happen to have Four Roses Single Barrel here, but again, there are plenty of whiskeys that I have back here that taste phenomenal that do not break the bank. So do not go out of your way to have to buy a $80, $90, $100 bottle of whiskey just because you want to taste something good. You don't need to go there. Now, another thing that I would recommend is that if you're trying a new whiskey or you're new to it in general, you have no idea if you're going to like the thing that you're buying, is try and find ones that are smaller than the normal sized 750 milliliters. Now, a lot of companies that are out there now have ones that are about half the size. Some have the little nips, maybe grab something a little bit bigger than a nip, but you don't need to buy the entire full size bottle just to take a taste. So there's things like this, right? So I happened to find this at my local liquor store the other day, right? Glen Morangi, little tasting set here. So as you can see, Right? There's four different bottles. They're smaller in size, so that way you're not spending all of this money on a large bottle of something that you might not even like. All right, So that's one of the recommendations I would say is that seek out smaller packs, anything that has a tasting pack like that, because again, you don't have to spend your money on an entire bottle if you're not going to like it. Alternately, you can be like me and buy a whole bottle anyways and figure that, okay, if I don't like it, I can put it on my shelf for when my friends and family come over and I have some guests. Maybe they like it. They'll try something new. More than likely, it'll get drank, at least in my house. But that's another option as well. All right. So the next item that I would say you want to have in your whiskey starter pack is probably going to cause some debate out there with some of the whiskey purists. But in my opinion, I think it is very important to have some water on hand when you're trying whiskey. Now, the water is here because depending on the whiskey, water can actually open up the flavor profile a little bit, all right? So not only is it the flavor on your tongue, but as you're smelling it, some of the aromas. The other thing that it does is, depending on the bottle of whiskey you have and the proof of the whiskey, that can sometimes be a bit of a kick for those who aren't used to it, all right? So some of the higher proof bottles, um, if you're not used to drinking straight alcohol, especially straight whiskey, I feel like, you're going to get a little bit of a kick, a little bit of that burn, 
And really that's gonna distract you from the flavor and everything else that's in the whiskey. So having a little bit of water there is actually good to be able to say, you know, I need a couple of drops here. It's gonna dilute it a bit, bring that alcohol content down a bit so it doesn't burn quite as bad. And then you're really gonna be able to experience the whiskey and the flavors that are there. So you notice specifically with this, I have my water here in this little bottle with the eyedropper. Now there's a bunch of different ways you can take water, you can have it in a glass. You know, they make little pipettes that you can have that you can drop little bits in it. Uh, they make little water jugs specifically for whiskey tasting that you can use. Uh, I happen to like this because you can take little bits of water and add it a little bit at a time and taste it and then go on and add some more if you want to. Um, but definitely I wouldn't recommend taking, you know, just a glass and pouring a bunch of it in, right? Start a little at a time so that way you don't completely water it down and you can taste it along the way. Okay, so the last couple things that I want to suggest to have in your starter kit are a notebook and a whiskey tasting wheel. So you definitely don't need either of these, but if you're like me and like to nerd out a little bit, um, a notebook is a perfect way for you to keep your notes on what the whiskey experience is like for you. So when you open up a new bottle, what the aromas are like, what you're tasting on your palate, things like that that you're experiencing with it, being able to write it down in a notebook, keep it somewhere for a record, and then the next time you go to the bottle, be able to pull it up, have another glass, see if it's the same exact experience as the last time. Be able to compare and contrast a bit. Um, you know, it's it's really great to have it being written down, at least from my standpoint, because like I said, I like to nerd out from time to time. The other thing that's nice here is that as you get a little bit more social in your whiskey tasting, uh, maybe you go to a whiskey tasting event, maybe you hold a whiskey tasting event at your own home, but being able to have the notes, you can start comparing and contrasting with friends, family, whoever it is that you're tasting with, um, you know, and be able to go through and see if your experience matches up with theirs, um, and at least you'll have a record of it. You don't have to remember it all in your head, because if you're like me, I can't remember anything off the top of my head. Now, a whiskey tasting wheel is, I think, especially helpful when you're just getting into whiskey. Now, this one that I have here, right, printed in a book, um, it happens to be in the, the Whiskeypedia of Scotch Whiskey, all right? This is one specifically kind of built around Scotch Whiskey, but there's plenty of them that you can find there online. What it can help you do is if you're new to whiskey specifically, it can really give you a little jump start to identify some of those aromas and some of those tastes that you're getting on that whiskey, right? So as you're developing your palate, obviously you're not gonna be able to tell exactly what you're tasting or what you're smelling right off the bat because your brain's not used to it. You're not gonna be able to recall that, um, especially if you've never tasted some of the things. So some of the stuff that people will put for tasting notes are you know, dried leather or these different exotic fruits, listen, I don't eat that much fruit, if at all. So I'm not gonna be able to taste something and tell you that there's an exotic fruit in there. But what the whiskey wheel does is it gives you some suggestions. So as you go through it, for example, if you start to taste or smell something, hmm, you know what, I smell something a little woody, there's some vanilla there, right? And so it can give you something to ground yourself on and really just kind of give you a little bit of a guide and a little path to identify kind of what the smells and tastes are that you're having there. All right, so there you have it. My list of items that I would include in a whiskey tasting starter pack. What do you guys think? Did I leave something out? Did I include something that you would never include in your wildest dreams? Let me know down in the comments. While you're at it, why don't you let me know where you are in your own whiskey journey? Maybe you're super experienced and you're listening to this in its old hat. Maybe you're new like me and you're starting out and you got some valuable stuff out of this today. Let me know. Love to hear where you guys are on your own journeys and to start a conversation about it. Looking forward to hearing from you all in the comments. So until next time, stay curious and cheers.